Hey my YouTubers, what's up again? We have again two reviews. Actually, it's one review because it's the same brewery, Luvanium. And Luvanium isn't a brewery. Huh? The brewery will be Brauerei Anders what? from Belgium. But is brewed for Brewhouse de Vaart oh, yeah. in Zemst in Belgium. We have the original one. It's called Winter, Winter Time, Winter Tide. It's called, and we have the original one, 8% ABV, but then we have the bourbon barrel aged, and those are those Kentucky, Kentucky, you know them, uh, whiskey barrels, the old ones from Kentucky. So I'm just gonna search for the ABV on this one. Oh, also 80% ABV. I told you guys, when you um, like infuse uh, these things or do put them in, whiskey barrels and age them for a, a longer time it doesn't add much to the ABV and that's here a thing we can see again so both are 8% ABV this one is whiskey infused so bourbon infused the difference is of course is it's actually bourbon aged like bourbon barrel aged it's a totally different thing than they do it on these casks or on these barrels for a longer time, they leave the beer in there and you can get a, the taste also, of course, and the woodiness really well. This one, infused, means mix the old Kentucky bourbon whiskey with the original one here, like you can see, winter time. So it's an oak aged amber. We're gonna open them, of course. Here we go. So we're gonna start with the one, this one, the original one. This is the cap, this is the beer guys, and we're gonna put it in this glass. I'm gonna put them both in the glass and to see the difference in color. That's a good start. And maybe the carbonation, the head might be different. Okay, it goes, it goes all in. Now for number two, the infused one, not the barrel aged one, infused one. The color for now seems almost the same. It is the head here. It has bigger bubbles. So this one has more those micro bubbles that creamy head to it. The one that is whiskey infused. That's already a difference. Color wise. What do you think guys? Color wise. There isn't much difference. Only the head is a uh, yeah, more steady on the second one, the whiskey infused one, the bourbon whiskey infused one. So we're gonna try them. We're gonna start first with the original one. Um, first of all, cheese guys. I can smell some booziness. Booziness, I can smell some cacao to it. I can smell some mocha to it. Some coffee beans, coffee in there. I think I get a little bit of fruity notes. We're gonna try it. Cheers guys. Yeah. The mocha, some vanilla, some floral notes. It is quite dry. There are some spices in here also that make it more drier. Like slight earthy. I do get some orange, some banana. But it sticks to your palate. It's really pleasant. It's more that earthy notes, hints. Those are hints. The floral thing is all over it. Light fruity, like I told you. And then we go to those things I also told you, orange and banana. So I think it's rather well, and you get get the amber all over it, because the malt base will be different for an amber one. But I think this is really well brewed again. Uh, we're gonna see for the rating, of course. Uh, this one, we're gonna try now, the whiskey infused one. I'm hoping I get some more woody notes into this one, because 
this also have some slight woody notes and that's because they use those oak chips in this one in the original one so the oak chips are also in this one it's slight woody but you it's really also a hint on the back it makes it more dry um, those wood chips oak chips in my opinion so we're gonna try this one cheers guys first on the nose this smells like softer on the nose I can't explain it why and now I look at the color it it is slightly darker this one doesn't mean a thing uh, but I hope the whiskey infused in the bourbon from Kentucky what are amazing barrels uh, they infused this one with um, I'm hoping we can get it well it does make this beer better than the original one it is nice but uh, still I'm only go gonna give this like seven out of ten what is three and a half to five for my uh, app on my phone untapped so we're gonna try this one cheers guys this is more velvet velvety smooth drinking it doesn't have that earthy tones to it hints to it like this one it gives more fruitiness to it it sounds strange but it's really true this one tastes more fruity than the other one you can also also get some vanilla it's also rather floral and those woody notes are now definitely more present in this beer it does feel more boozy than the other one um, otherwise it will be rather the same it's the, the base is the same of course it's just infused with the bourbon whiskey so um, this one gets for me a higher rating not that much more but a high, half a point more so I'm gonna give this a seven and a half out of ten so I'm gonna round it up I think really nicely brewed and quite enjoyable for this winter time that's the name of the beer winter tat so if you can find it do buy them they won't be expensive um, and if you like your amber beers like your woody slightly more earthy ones with some banana and orangey notes stones to it with some vanilla and caramel notes to it do buy these guys you can't go wrong and um, yeah it feels also a little bit like dry fruited these two the first one because that's the base it has some dry fruits to it it's like raisiny raisin notes like yeah a little bit of that molasses thing you know the syrup they use um yeah i'm gonna round it up thanks for watching guys don't forget a beer day gives out a ray cheers bye